Hello and welcome to this video on how to clean up a fresh install of Windows 10. We will be using a PowerShell script that I wrote. And the first thing we need to do is to go to my website and download it. So open up your browser window and go to erics388.com. From there, click on tools. And from there, click on the download script here. Save and close. Before we run the script, we need to set the execution policy to unrestricted or we won't get very far. So open a new window of PowerShell in admin mode. And run the following command. I'll leave it on the screen for a second. And now we run it. Good. Close. Now go back to the downloads folder where you downloaded my script. And right click on it and run with PowerShell. So the script will actually restart the computer three times. The first time it disables UAC so that it can continue to run other stuff later on. And because UAC is annoying. And once it restarts, we will uh, continue from where we left up. So I'll be right back. And here we are once again. Uh, go back to the downloads folder and rerun the script again. This time around, it will look for another script called the Windows 10 Decrapifier. If it doesn't find it in the same location, it will open up a browser window to the download location. So go ahead and download it. and close it, the browser once you're done. In the meantime, the script is actually moving on without the decrapifier. Uh, so we'll let it finish. And once it finishes, it will restart once again. On the last uh, restart, we will run it one more time. This time it will actually invoke the decrapifier script as well. And then we're done. And here we are on the last run. Just rinse and repeat. And we are now almost done. The only thing left that the script isn't able to do is to remove these sponsored apps. They are just magical and hidden. So we just have to go in and uninstall them ourselves. The good news is that thanks to the decrapifier script, the settings that allowed these to come back on their own have been disabled. So once you uninstall them, they should be gone for good and should not regenerate on their own. And I don't know what these ones are, so we'll just unpin them. And now you are free to customize your new install of Windows 10 any way you see fit. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out.